This is an overview of using Draft Hero with leagues hosted on MyFantasyLeague.com. To get started, we just need to add an extension if we want to do any of the live sync features. This is a free and easy to add extension that works in Chrome and Edge browsers on PCs and Macs. Go ahead and add it. You can remove it at any time. We'll go back to Draft Hero, refresh the page, and that message is gone because we've added the extension. Basically, the extension allows us to communicate with any of the platforms we support, as you see here. I've entered a mock draft on MFL to show the live draft sync feature. And you'll see that the URL has a league ID that Draft Hero recognizes and uses that MFL league ID to sync all of the scoring rules, roster settings, team names, draft order, etc. Go back to Draft Hero, select your team, click finish, and then just go and confirm you know that everything was imported. I see that the draft hero has changed, or the uh, draft order has changed here. So we're going to sync the draft order again. Looks good. Boom. Save that. All of the other team names and scoring rules, etc., look good. Um, yeah, we're first on the clock here. So we're going to start the draft sync, and we're going to go over to MFL. We want to make a draft pick here so we don't get timed out. Uh, we'll just go with this year's consensus CMC. Uh, and as you can see, it's already synced into Draft Hero Draft App. So everything is live synced almost instantaneously between the apps, which is fantastic. You enter all of your draft picks on MFL, and they're automatically read and uh, updated in Draft Hero. So after a draft pick is updated, all the analytics, player rankings, uh, optimization and algorithms, etc., are updated to help you optimize all of your draft picks from round one all the way to round 16 or however long your draft is. And you've got all this information at your fingertips, ADP, player rankings by position. You can see people's rosters. You can see a full draft board. Player rankings, you can click by position, and you can see all these different sources depending on which subscription you've got. But we've got player rankings or projections from all of these expert sources, which is really helpful if you want to do a blended, aggregated version um, of the rankings. is very, very powerful. Uh, site ADP, you can also see where all these players are being drafted across basically every major platform, which is really, really helpful. Um, fantasy rosters, NFL rosters, and then the draft plan. This is an advanced feature um, that's not really offered anywhere else. It allows you to target players and positions with every single pick of your draft. So let's say we've already got CMC. We don't want to go RB, RB. So I'm going to click off of the RB, and it says, all right, to optimize the rest of your roster, take Marvin Harrison with your second pick as opposed to Gibbs. Um, so we go over to look at some rankings more, just kind of confirm, all right, Harrison, yeah, they all have this, London, Alave, and Harrison all the same points, but Harrison is drafted before them with an ADP of 20. So let's take him, go over to MFL, draft him on MFL, and come back and all the algorithms are optimized. It was showing Pacheco before, but since Gibbs is still available, um, he dropped to us. So uh, we can take a look at his profile, look at his updated news from Rotowire and his stats from last season. So you can see that he was pretty much a stud towards the end of the year. Um, starter or stud value for most of the weeks during the season. So uh, he's also looks like he's the most valuable RB. Um, top of the ADP list. So yeah, it's kind of the consensus pick at this point. Go back into MFL, draft Jameer Gibbs, boom. Automatically synced almost instantaneously into Draft Hero and the draft continues and we can continue and look at all the information, continue to optimize our draft plan. Let's say for whatever reason, we don't want Mahomes, I uh, think he's been drafted too early, we can avoid him and all the algorithms update and say, all right, well, if you don't want Mahomes, take Hertz with your third round pick. Um, and we'll see if he falls to us um, or what's available when we get on the clock. But it's adjusting all the algorithms based on who is uh, up. Hertz, excuse me, that just looks like I just switched to Lamar Jackson. But uh, everything's updated based on all the draft picks. Um, and as players fall to you, uh, all the algorithms are updated. So. If you ever the sync stops or pauses for some reason, just click sync now. Uh, if you ever need to refresh the Draft Hero browser, uh, that's fine. Uh, as soon as you come back in, it loads and it recognizes that there's a live draft going on, so it restarts the sync immediately. You don't have to do anything. 
automatically continues the sync. So um, uh, that's kind of a nice feature as well as the, the draft room, the live draft room, if that gets refreshed um, or closed for whatever reason, as soon as you bring it back up, the sync continues without you having to do anything. If you ever get really stuck, there's an emergency draft sync. Basically what this does is uh, clears all of the draft picks. So let's say the commissioner unwound a couple of picks, somebody made a mistake um, and you need to rewind. Uh, this is a great feature, just clears all the draft picks and resyncs to the exact point that it is now. So right, we're back on the clock, resynced all the picks again, and Drake London's the pick. We'll go in here and make sure we don't get auto-drafted. All the algorithms are updated. Okay, here's the quarterback for us, Josh Allen. So if we're not gonna do Mahomes, take Josh Allen at this point. Looks like he's the most valuable quarterback on the board and he's gonna give us an optimal roster. So let's take him, draft him in NFL, and boom, he's synced back into Draft Hero. So we'll continue that, but let's go back into Draft Hero, getting started. You can see Yahoo, ESPN, CBS. We support pretty much all the platforms, including a lot of the contest sites like NFFC. We added Underdog this year. Um, we've got all the contests there, super easy to add them. Um, we've got all the templates, and basically you can just add them, go in there and change, and you can also sync drafts and that, that stuff with Underdog. But uh, a lot of options, uh, auction app, draft app, lineup app, uh, sync with most of the site platforms. Obviously, MFL is a good one. And uh, in your league manager, if you have a league created, you can go back here and, and select them and manage them from here. 